Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, the world out there. Today we are going to take a look at Virgo's Broken Heart Tarot spread for the month of May. In this spread we are going to first tap into the energies with the Island Time Wellness deck right here. Then we are going to dive into the spread with the traditional tarot deck. In the spread, we are going to take a look at what your part of the problem is, what their part of the problem, um, what each of you can do to resolve this problem. Other influences, can it be saved? And is it worth it? Or is there hope, right? Please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. They are not going to resonate every time with every person. You are more than welcome to check other signs. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. You are more than welcome to um, check all the signs in your birth chart, though. I do recommend, you know, checking other signs. Um, it's definitely beneficial to get kind of a whole a whole perspective. Each sign is going to resonate in different areas of your life. Okay. For more information on how to book personal readings, energy cleanse kits that I offer, uh, how to get entered into the drawing that we do here every month for free personal readings, all that other useful, helpful information is all linked below in the description box. And Virgo, if you are new to the channel and you would like future messages, you like how I vibe, you like how I interpret the cards, you are more than welcome to subscribe. Everyone is always welcome and it does help set your intention for future messages. So let's see here. Kisses. One more card, please, and thank you. Too many. We have Twin Flames, Not Enough, Passion, Coffee Cup. Meeting up with your soulmate. Let's see, meeting up with your Twin Flame to get closure. Okay. Well, I feel like you are meeting up with somebody. There's definitely a meeting here involved with date. This could be a um, person who is new, new in your life. I feel like this may not necessarily be wedding bells yet because I do feel like this is a new energy, but I feel like this is kind of escalating pretty quickly here, Virgo, um, is the energy that I'm picking up here. Um, Axe. It's the only issue that I have here is symbolizes a separation, a, a breakup. Um, be careful that you're not repeating patterns. Not saying that you are, I'm just saying be aware, be, um, be aware of that. Be cautious of interactions, not repeating past behavior patterns. Let's take a look here. <clears throat> what we have for you, Virgo. Most important message here for Virgo spirit. What does Virgo need to see? For this broken heart separation. I feel like there is something new coming in here, Virgo. Um, but what I feel like is going to um, be brought to awareness is that repetitive behavior patterns or repetitive relationship patterns that are no longer serving. Let's see. First card out for you, Virgo, is the Sun card in reverse. 
could be dealing with a Leo. This talks about delays. Okay. Um, I feel like there is something that you're working towards. Maybe this has been delayed or it's taking a little longer than you would have liked. I do see this. This is what your where your focus is at. King of Pentacles. This is Virgo energy. I feel like there's a new beginning with somebody coming in that's more stable, more grounded. I feel like there's this maybe fear, okay, with the Nine of Cups, a fear of, of things repeating itself, right? Maybe even a fear of taking things too fast, moving things along too quickly. Um, express that. If you're feeling a fear, you're feeling a negative emotion towards how quickly, with the Ace of Wands, this is coming together, just express how you're feeling to this person, Virgo. Um, it's either going to bring this connection closer together or it's going to cause conflict, right? And you're going to know by that if this relationship is meant to be or not. I feel like there's going to be an offer that's going to be made for sure. But I get the sense here that you may feel like this is coming together too quickly and want to kind of hold back a little bit. So let's get some clarification here, Virgo, on this. Now, if you're feeling any ill feelings towards a person, it's probably best if you listen and trust your intuition but I don't see any negativity coming up here yet. So let's take a look. Let's get some clarification here. For Virgo. What does Virgo need to see here? Please clarify the sun. The sun in reverse. Please and thank you. Ooh, nice. Ace of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. So I do feel like it is something with career, something work, something surrounding finances that are causing these delays for you. I feel like what this is symbolizing here, Virgo, is you may be focused on your goals, focused on your career, not so not having so much time and energy to put towards a relationship. I do feel like this is a solid, stable person. This is the Four of Wands. It tells me that um, this person is a very good connection for you. Very solid, very stable. The Four of Wands is also that twin flame soulmate type of energy. Now keep in mind, guys, you can have multiple soulmates. We do only have one twin, but we have multiple soulmate connections in our life. Okay, so keep that in mind. I feel like this is the Five of Swords in reverse, Virgo. Um, you're also coming out of conflict. Maybe this is within yourself. You know, maybe you had some conflicted energies within yourself, but I feel like this to me is um, probably this separation, this ending that you're moving forward from, because I do feel that energy here, like you're moving forward. That could be why you're cautious as well, is because you're moving forward from a connection that you may have felt strongly and found that this was no longer serving. Okay. The Ace of Wands is clarified by the Magician. 
So the magician energy is, you know, having all the tools manifesting this new beginning. Um, there's also a cautionary tale with the magician just to be cautious, be careful. Um, but I feel like this is more they're manifesting you to come into their life. Okay. I feel like this is um, them trying to call you in intuitively. Let's get some clarification here on this Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups, please, and thank you, Spirit. Ace of Cups in reverse. Mm-hmm. feel like there's a need here to express communication, express how you're feeling at this time, express your emotions, the positive ones and the negative, but mostly the negative ones, you know, the not wanting to bring this together so quickly, the still having to let go of this past situation that is no longer serving you. Queen of Swords. Okay, so making a decision making that decision to move forward here so when this person comes in with this offer there's going to be a need here to communicate yourself clearly on where you stand that could um and give me a thumbs up you guys if this is resonating but um that could be you know clearly that you just want to take this a little bit more slow clear that you are fo focused on your goals and you don't really um, want to focus on relationship right now, whatever it is that you are wanting to communicate with this person, it, there's a need here to communicate this clearly, okay, openly and honestly. This is the queen of pentacles here. So we do have a counterpart. I do feel like um, this person is going to be okay. Coming out as the king of pentacles, they may even be able to help you with your goals or, or to bring your goals together. Okay, that may be why you attracted this person into your life here, Virgo. Um, and that's why I feel like there's a need here just to express yourself emotionally you're going to be surprised how this is going to um, turn out. You'd be surprised how much they would be able to help you. Let's get a few cards here, Virgo, for your advice. Moving forward for the month of May, please and thank you for Virgo. What is Virgo's advice for moving forward for the month of May? Okay, do we have it? Two knights, so knight of pentacles, knight of swords, and ten of pentacles. I feel like this is talking about, even if this person rushes in, okay, even if they try to rush this, okay, rush in with the knight of swords, um, rushing things, haste, being hasty, not really thinking things through, being that Virgo energy, I feel like you're just going to put the brakes on this. You're going to slow it down. I want to focus on my goals because I feel like this thing that you're working on is going to be very fulfilling, very beneficial. And then we have the Ten of Cups on the bottom. Okay. So you are headed in the right direction. Um, and you can even express like, hey, I have this. We have this deep connection. I do understand that. But I just I'll, I want to make sure that everything's coming together. Okay. It's coming together like it's supposed to. Slow and steady wins the race. All right, let's get let's get the soul journey cards out here for you, Virgo. I am going to do an extended version to this reading. In the extended version, we'll take a look at what your person's intentions are moving forward. Um, what those next steps are going to be. We'll take a look at what the outcome, the outcome here is. 
Um, we will pull out the Archangel Guidance cards for a blessing for this month. And then we will also pull out the Soul Truth deck for the lesson. If that's something you guys are interested in, you are more than welcome to join. The link is below in the description box. So, Virgo. Soul Journey cards. Love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Beautiful. And empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. So Again, that communication piece is going to be key and communicating your emotions openly, lovingly, not, not too abrasively, okay? And, and have empathy as well, you know, with the empathy card coming out, put yourself in the, the other person's shoes, you know? How would you feel if it was, if the roles were reversed? Let's take a look. Um, at this power thought card for you, Virgo, for the month of May. My healing is already in process. This comes out for Virgo. I think this has come out for you before, hasn't it? The healing process is a real process. My willingness to forgive begins my healing process. I allow the love from my own heart to wash through me, cleansing and healing every part of my body. I know I am worth healing. My healing is already in process. Beautiful Virgo. So that is the message I have coming out for you guys for this month. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, the link is below. Otherwise, thank you guys again so much. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.